Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I am part of a napkin exchange and I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. But first of all, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my Oliver. And if you're returning, you know we love you. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, before we get to the first DIY, I wanted to show you uh, all of these beautiful napkins that I received from these wonderful ladies. They were so many, I had a hard time deciding on which ones to use. And I'm sorry that the camera wasn't at the right angle, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick look of what I received. So with that, let's get to DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm going to use my Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color Linen White. I'm going to use this napkin that I received from Lainey. I am going to use these uh, printouts that I used with or created with my Cricut and then this charger from Dollar Tree. So I started off by painting the middle portion of that charger with the white paint. After it was done, I covered it in Mod Podge, just like you see me doing here. And then once I had it all covered, I set it aside to dry. And after it was all dry, I took my napkin, I cut it out, and then I am just cutting it right up to the picture of the chick of the little chickadee. Um, I only wanted the chickadee of this napkin, and I just thought it was the cutest little napkin I've ever seen. That chickadee was just adorable. So I am just going to cut away <laughs> all of that extra uh, napkin. I even went in between the legs because all I wanted to see was that chickadee. Then I took off the second layer here that's behind it. And then I'm going to put it on my charger um, when, because my charger was dry, the paint was all, or the Mod Podge was all dry. So I lay it where I want it. Now something happened. This has never happened to me before. I put my parchment paper down over my napkin like I always do, use my heat press, and once I'm done, I go to lift up my parchment paper and it started pulling up the paint. I've never had this done, so I'm thinking that maybe the Mod Podge wasn't completely dry. Maybe I didn't let it dry long enough, but I was just like, oh no, what do I do? So I pulled up as much of that paint as I could and then I'm just using my little finger sander to sand it down to try and get it as smooth as I could without ripping that napkin. <clears throat> and so then I uh, went around and I painted the areas that I sanded. And I'm just trying to paint real carefully here to get it to look decent. After that um, was dry, I did put Mod Podge back over my chickadee and the whole plate. And then once it, that was all dry, I took my uh, decal here that I created and I'm just going to place it onto my charger. And when I got it all on, I was like, okay, it's still, I can still see some of those spots. And I didn't like that. So I was playing around with these little daisies. I got these last year from Amazon and I was thinking of putting these in the middle of the charger to kind of cover it. But I, as I was playing around, I went around the outside here like I'm doing <clears throat> And I really, really loved the way this looks. So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to put these all around the edge of my charger, just like you see me doing. I went all the way around it. And then I thought, and then I'll see what it looks like with maybe a few of these in the middle. Well, to me, it just looked too busy. So I grabbed a couple of these chickadees that I had last year. I remembered I had them. And I you painted them with the Waverly chalk paint in the color Maze, but it wasn't bright enough. So I used that bright yellow by Apple Barrel. And once they were all dry here, I'm just hot gluing them on uh, in place. And then I was still not happy. I was just like, I can still see some of the areas that pulled up. So I decided to make some polka dots. So I took this little embossing tool here and I took my Apple Barrel Navy. It's called Real Navy. Um, and I just made polka dots all the way around. And then after that, I took this hanger. This hanger I got off of one of those big birdhouses um, from Dollar Tree. 
and it was sitting next to me and I thought, oh, that would be perfect. So I'm just going to hot glue that onto the back of my charger. And then I wanted something to just kind of help give it some support and cover that bottom. And I am just using some ribbon here to cover that up. Did you see how that steam from that hot glue? Oh my goodness. So anyways, after that, that is all there is for this. And I think it came out so adorable. Y'all have to let me know what you think about this one as well. <clears throat> okay, so today is the napkin DIY exchange or challenge, I guess. And we just all got together and we um, sent each other napkins, but Zaina and I actually got to meet up because we live in the same city and we've never met up before. And so I'm going to show you a clip uh, right here of us meeting. Hi guys, it's Zaina and Brenda. We're here together for the napkin exchange. We're so excited. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here's DIY number two. Make sure you check out the playlist. Um, and check out all those ladies. I'll have the description box below. Okay, so I was going to use this Waverly chalk paint in the color Night Sky, but I ended up changing that out for that real navy. I used my uh, white chalk paint there, and then three of these pots from Dollar Tree. I used these two, I believe I got those from Dollar Tree as well, those styrofoam balls. Some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree. Um, part of a styrofoam block that I had in my stash from Dollar Tree. This little box sign from Dollar Tree, but you could use anything that you have. And then I had this um, plastic, I don't know what it is. And I, I don't remember where it came from. It was in my stash. Um, and then some flowers, just a, I have a whole bunch of flowers that I was trying to pick from. And then three of these napkins. Now, <clears throat> This didn't go as well as I wanted it, but you'll see what I did. Okay, so I painted everything with my white and then I went over the top part of one of the pots with my real navy and I decided to go ahead and add yellow and it's the bright yellow by Apple Barrel and the salmon color by Ceramico to the top. So um, you'll see there. And then I painted the box with that navy color. So I started off by just putting some E6000 along the middle of that white block, a uh, styrofoam block there, and then I'm gonna add some hot glue and I'm gonna stick it right inside of my box here. And once I have that in, I'm gonna take that uh, plastic stick piece that I have and I'm gonna pu punch it in. Now, what I really wanted to use was a wooden dowel, but I didn't have any. So I need to get some, <laughs> and I think that might help and might work better. So if you have, if you want to recreate this, I would suggest using something a little stronger than that plastic dowel that I was using. So I'm just going to start off by going over my uh, pots on the white area with the Mod Podge and just laying out each napkin. I cut them down to size, removed the back piece to them, and then I just started laying them down. Now. I didn't use my normal technique here, so there was a few wrinkling, but I just did, I worked with it as best as I could to get as much of the wrinkling out. Once I was done, I just went around with my X-Acto knife and trimmed up any excess that was overlapping on this top. Like you see, well, anyways, I'm just uh, going back over those with Mod Podge once I was done. As you can see, there was some paint missing on that one. I had to touch it up. But anyways, so I took one of these tumbling tower blocks because I was thinking I wanted this bottom pot to be kind of at an angle. I later on fix it and, and have it flush because it just did not feel strong enough or sturdy enough. So I went with my hot glue here and some Spanish moss and I'm just going to cover that bottom uh, styrofoam piece with that Spanish moss because I just didn't, you know, don't want to see it. Then I put my pot in and as you can see, I've got it as an angle. Um, I took this one of these balls and I'm just cutting it down so that it fits inside of my pot. <clears throat> now I kind of got this idea because I did something similar to this last summer for my outside with some real, uh, with some bigger pots and they, they are so cute. They're, um, they are all at different angles and it is just adorable. So I, that's what I was going for here. 
but it just wasn't working. And I don't know if it was because of the styrofoam. I might have needed to do it differently, but I stuck the other pot in crooked like that. And I'm using some more of the styrofoam to kind of help it sit in place. Um, and then I covered it up with moss too. But when I added the next one, it just was not wanting to stay. And I had to play and play and play with it. So I did end up taking it all apart, <clears throat> even after I had some of these flowers and I took it all apart. And that's when I laid the bottom one at, not at an angle, but laid it down on its own, just uh, flush. And then I'm taking some little pieces of tumbling tower block and I'm just kind of stuffing them in um, to just kind of help give uh, those other ones that are above it, uh, help it to be a little more sturdy, as you can see there. Now, also, I wanted to put smaller daisies in this, and I thought I had some smaller flowers, but I didn't. So I have a lot of bigger flowers in here, which kind of makes it hard to see the pot. So if you recreate this, I would suggest getting more smaller flowers so that you can see more of the pots. But... Mm -hmm. It is really kind of a fun idea. I wanted to share, share this with you. I do love the way it came out. It is really cute. I think I might trade out some of the bigger flowers for some smaller ones so you can see a little more of the pots, but I just love this. You have to let me know what you think about this one in the comment box below. Okay, and I just want to thank all of my subscribers for always supporting me and watching me. I love you so much. And if you're new here, and or even if you're not new and you haven't hit that subscribe button, I'd hope you hit that subscribe button before you go. And make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and comment and watch those ads. Those all help my channel grow. And if you'd like to help with my crafting supplies, you can buy me a coffee. coffee and you can find the link to that as well as to my uh, social media accounts in the description box below. So normally I would do a celebration of your recreations, but I don't have anything to show you today. So if you have a creation or a recreation that you would like me to showcase, you can send it to my email address listed there or to me through Instagram or Facebook Messenger. So here's DIY number three. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use some of these. These are called greeneries from Dollar Tree. Um, they have some little flowers on them. I love them. I'm, actually, I thought I had more and that's about all I have. I'm gonna have to get more. Um, this napkin I got from Lainey as well, and then it's a, it's a cloth napkin. I'm going to use this sign <clears throat> that I just recently got from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to start off by removing that metal piece, and I'm going to save that for another DIY sometime. And then once I have this all removed, and it comes off pretty easy, I'm going to remove, there's two little flowers that are like little wooden flowers that are really cute. And I'm just removing those too. Now I decided I'm not going to do anything other than do some distressing on the front of this. <clears throat> so I'm just going with my antique wax and I'm just distressing all around the edges. Um, I kind of blended it in and then I just kind of went around again and did a little more of the brush marks like you see. But I just went around all of the edges, top, bottom, sides, and then I'm going to do some distressing along the middle. Just kind of wanted to give it that rustic, like outdoor wood look. As you can see, I'm just doing that here. And again, if you don't like distressing, you could always skip this part. But after I am done with that, and once I had it dry, I did use my little heat gun on it for a little bit to make sure it was dry. I cut out a portion of this cloth napkin and I'm going to make a pocket for my flowers. And I figured that the flowers that I'm using, the greenery pieces, would cover up those flowers on the picture. So I that's why I didn't take them off. But I also thought it would kind of give it um, another dimensional look and kind of make it look even more full because you could kind of, um, you can't really see it, but yet it kind of blends into, I guess, the, the florals that I put it in. And, and it, I don't know. I think it makes it look a little more full. But anyways, you have to let me know what you think. So here I'm just using my hot glue to glue that uh, napkin onto my um, picture here, as you can see. And I'm just going down the bottom and the two sides. And then once I have it, I'm going to start filling it with my flowers. Now, you guys, like I said, this is a super, super easy um, DIY and 
I really love the way it came out. So you see there, see, you can kind of see some of the painted flowers in the background and I think it just makes it look fuller. Anyways, I'm taking some of this white lace ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and I am just going to go around the edge of my, um, my wall pocket here. And I think I might show you all of this, which is probably way more than I should have. Yes. So I, I didn't want it to pucker at the corner. Um, so I did cut it and then I just, um, hot glued that piece down and then I cut it again and hot glued that piece down and then I cut it again and hot glued the other piece down oh my goodness this is what happens when I edit and I watch tv while I'm editing it's like I lose track of what I'm doing and I show too much <laughs> so bear with me I'm almost done <laughs> Uh, anyways, okay, so yeah, make sure you guys um, check out those ladies. I will have links. I will probably have links to all of them, but I will have a link to the playlist as well. They are all amazingly talented women, and I was very honored to be able to uh, collaborate with them. So once I had all of those lace ribbons glued on, I took this ribbon. I got this when it was on sale this last fall at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just making a bow by doing the awareness ribbon, scrunching it in the middle and tying some jute rope around it. And then I am going to dovetail the ends and then I am going to hot glue it to the top of my pocket here. I love the colors blue and yellow together. And so since the, the chickadee was the first one I did, I just kind of stayed with that theme. So I took some more yellow ribbon. This is ribbon that I got last year from Dollar Tree. I made a bow the same way and just added it to the top. And then I decided to take a piece of that lace ribbon and just go over the um, the jute rope that I tied over the bows. That way it just kind of brought in these ribbons with that lace ribbon, just kind of tied it all together. After that, I am just going to take some of these butterflies I just recently got at um, Hobby Lobby. They're $2.99 and then 40% off that. And I'm just going to add some of these butterflies on here because, you know, you got to have butterflies with your flowers, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to hot glue one onto the middle of the bow. Here I put lace on it and then I cover it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh well. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put a couple there on the bottom and that's all there was for it. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well and which one was your favorite today and if there's any that you might be recreating let me know and then make sure you send me pictures if you do i'd love to see them and so here comes the final reveal so again make sure you check out everyone's channels and everyone's video this will be fun to see what everyone does with their napkins that they received i um thank you guys all so very much for watching and again if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button. Before you go, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and comment to help this girl out. And with all that being said, I will be back again on Sunday with another fun collaboration with Zaina and her What Would You Make? So with all that being said, you guys, have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.